This video is about software ethics. Freeware is software offered free of charge and can be downloaded off of the internet. Most freeware forbids the user to alter the program, repackage it, or sell it. Freeware does not often come with technical support and some programs do not have an extensive help menu. Many operators write programs in their spare time and do not have the resources to offer tech support. If the software requires the user to view ads while using the program, it is technically adware. Adware is software that is available for a free download, but differs from freeware in that it is ad-sponsored. A programmer might choose to create adware in order to collect advertising fees to offset the cost of keeping the program active. However, the software is considered a security risk and internet users are advised not to install it. Freeware is also different from shareware in that shareware requires a payment if the software is, to, is used past a trial date. Shareware is software that is available to download online for free until the trial evaluation is over. At the end of the trial period, the user is bound by an electronic user license agreement to either uninstall the software or to pay to continue to use it. Shareware trial periods vary from a few days to a month. Some software, including gaming programs, have a trial period based upon the number of times a program is open, rather than the number of days it has been installed on a computer. For example, if a shareware program allows 30 uses, the program will continue to work until it has been executed 30 times. This may take one person several months, while it might take another person 30 times just in a few days. Public domain is any type of work that is not currently protected by a copyright. There is a wide range of products that fall into the public domain. They may include intellectual property that was previously covered by a copyright, as well as works that were specifically designed as for the general public use and were never covered by a copyright. Open source is a philosophy which suge suggests that the source code behind something should be freely available to the public. Source code refers to the programming language one uses to write a program. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of programming languages, including C++, Java, and Unix. Often people refer to source code of websites, which means programming conducted in HTML and possibly Java. In most internet browsers, one has the option of viewing an internet page in source code format. This is actually quite helpful for people learning to program in HTML since they can use it to figure out how to do a table, construct a list, or make a hyperlink. People often use the programming from websites they like to achieve a, a similar look to a page that they're constructing. The principle of open source originated in the software industry in the late 1990s with several releases of open source software and operating systems. There are a number of strong arguments for releasing something in an open source, whether it be for a recording, a software tool, or an entire operating system. The main advantage to releasing something in this way is that it allows the end user to directly interact with the source, potentially modifying it to their wishes. This encourages constant development and innovation while also creating a community of shared information. Many companies which produce open source products rely on the innovations of users to expand features and to identify the and fix potential weak points, and these companies actively encourage modification of their products. Under current U.S. copyright laws, any creative work that is automatically protected from the moment it is first published, performed, or produced. This means the creator of the work must be recognized as a legal owner when it comes to fair use of that work by others. Essentially, the writer of a novel or, the, or a sculptor of a statue holds all the legal rights to that work unless or until he or she decides to grant some of those rights to others. One common way to establish these rights is to include the phrase, all rights reserved, somewhere on the work itself. The phrase serves to remind others that the original creator of the work still owns every right to the material.